depression and dick appointment. <laughs> or reasons I still text the fuck boy. I'm too broke for retail therapy, which means I'm too broke for actual therapy. I'm also too out of shape to run. Depression feels like an Olympic athlete. I am still the awkward kid who gets picked last from gym. I never sleep. She takes up all the space on my bed. She steals the comforts and then asks me why I am cold. My relationship status says it's complicated because you can't break up with all you've ever known and knowing I don't love myself has been the only consistent thing in my life. She's also the reason I don't text nobody back because ain't nobody gonna love me the way she does and so tonight all I want to do is forget that she is always here. It's 2 a.m., my phone is fully charged and there's a Rolodex of bodies I know I can use as a distraction. My hands are the name of the man I'm going to fuck before I do and no, it's not the hotel who calls me queen. Got the aunt tattoo right next to the prayer hands with his grandma's name on it. That nigga likes the fuck to walk a flock of. He goes hard to pay. He goes hard to pay for all of two seconds and can't even stay on beat. And no, no, it's not the nice guy with the 401k vision and dental. I'm the first thing. This nigga said he wanted to wife me, and I knew that nigga could not be trusted. <laughs> But she ain't make me a fool. So instead, I sent a you up text to a nigga I told my friends I was going to stop fucking with. They say he is leading me on, but I know that's the type of nigga I date because I know he'll never love me. And one day I get to tell myself I told you so. Depression has made my bed too stiff to sleep and my nightmares have started to devour me. And all I want is the warmth of his body and his memory foam mattress. He always wears a condom. His bed is the safest place I have been all week. This isn't love making. This is the wildest way I know how to forget the emptiness inside me. He uses his Ooh. mouth to wipe away all the self pity there was in his body. I was screaming out the world so instead I scream his name. Tonight I do not cry, only moan, bend my body for him when I break my back from my depression. Tonight I am not the submissive one. I feel like I have conquered this man the way I say I have conquered my depression. I know both of them will be laughing at me in the morning. You see, depression and the fuck boy are similar. Yeah. are familiar, but this isn't a revelation. This isn't me saying I'm going to stop fucking the fuck boy because somehow safety looks like a man who doesn't love me and all his body knows is depression and orgasms, depression, the fuck boy down the street, depression, an unlimited data plan, and some man on the other end who will always text me back. Oh. Woo!